I, I want to talk about your time in the SEALs because my view, and I may be wrong, is that you're physically gifted to the extent that they called you cyborg. And I'm sure there's reasons for that, right? But what was your view on when you went through SEALs? You, you graduated as honorman. What was it about you that enabled you to do so well in that environment? You know, you have to be a physically fit individual and you have to be athletic in order to even get to stand at the starting line, right? That's a prerequisite. And then I would say, I, have, I would make the statement, although there's no way to really validate it, that there are a fair number of SEALs who had traumatic childhoods because I, I know a lot of them and they all, a lot of them did. When you grow up in, in a dysfunction like that, then you gravitate toward order. And you can't find any more order than the military. I was no different. I kind of like looked for that order and I looked for that challenge and I wanted, and also you grow up kind of feeling like something's off and you want to like burn it out of your system, especially if you're an athlete, random warrior. And like I figured Navy SEALs and Hell Week, that's going to burn it all out. And I'm going to, I'm going to grow and, you know, be a different person. And I did from that, but didn't get to the root of everything. But what it was that made me exceptional or maybe a, a really effective leader was the meditation. Because the meditation, you know, in four years of meditation, especially when I was 21, 22, 23, 24 years old, and my brain was still developing, it, it, it opened up my mind to where I could really use my right and left hemisphere simultaneously. So I had a lot of situational awareness, which is right hemisphere thinking along with the ability to really focus in and concentrate, which is less hemispheric thinking. Furthermore, that when your mind, when your brain starts to be able to operate at that more whole mind, simultaneous mind level, then you have a, a, almost an opening of access to the heart intelligence and also your gut intelligence, you know, the, the seed of instinctual intuition as well as heart or empathic intuition. And so I was able to really uh, started to open my heart to my teammates and to really demonstrate not as an act of uh, transactional, you know, hey, this is good for me, but because I really care for them, a real kind of uh, advanced level of leadership where I was doing it for them 